All right, so when we last left off, uh, we were kind of just exploring and just having some fun, but we actually found a secret thing while I was walking around here. Just as I was just about to record too, so. And it looks like we found a secret tunnel. Now, I think this is the tunnel used for the dungeon. So, we're gonna return back here in a hot bit. But I just wanted to show everybody that I found that. Now, now that I know I have pet uh, pal, let's actually talk. Well, we found out more about uh, <laughs> him. I always love it when this game, um, you, you decide to like talk to something or go to something, and they're like, "Yeah, this is for this and this and this," and I'm just like, "God damn it!" So like that uh, card game, I don't know what the jackpot would have been, but I'm pretty sure I would have wanted that. Uh, let's talk to this girl. What do you have? You have bullhorn, you have tentacle. Ooh, actually, Fane has polymorph. Wouldn't be a bad idea to grab some of these. If I were her, would I get any extra? See, which ones would help us out probably the most I think chameleon's good because it would give us a turn or two to kind of like chill or move out the way if things get hairy um, chicken claw is really good because it is a way of just getting someone out of the fold and adds a crowd control based ability that's based off of that um, that's really nice bullhorns is really nice um, Bullhorns isn't as good an ability though, in my eyes. Uh, even though, let's see, it gives us rep uh, retribution, which isn't that bad. I think it would be better with that. I actually just want kind of all these books, to be honest. Alright, here's what we gotta do. We gotta, we gotta figure out the perfect time to talk to her. Separate the two of these. Okay. Now's your chance, Lozai. Talk to her. Okay. I just want all of your books. I'm just going to take that. <laughs> Do I only get one book? Oh, I didn't even get to keep the book. I just, but I want it. I want your, I want it. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, let's see if we can't load a old save. Yeah, we're just going to load that. I always hate it because, like, a guard will walk by and I'm like, God damn it. It's really easy, though, when you have, like, a group of four because then you can have, like, them all talk to different people and then you can just go behind them and just be like, pick up, pick up. <laughs> so, that's super duper nice overall. But we'll figure that out as we go. Overall, though, I really like Fevery. I think it's a nice little way of getting around stuff. So I'm probably going to have uh, Lose be like a partnering person and the other person be a thieving person. So that way we can constantly get the spells and things that we need. So I forgot I had Polymorph, though. So definitely need to get that. Everything's all looted. Nice. Now we just need to get Geomancy for my undead. Oh, we also have this cave. We'll go in the cave in a bit. I always forget about the cave, to be honest. Um, in my um, playthrough that I'm like super deep in, I totally never went into the cave. Uh, I think I'm lost. <laughs> where, where was I trying to go? Uh, that's one of the issues with the isometric sort of thing. You kind of forget like where things are at sometimes. So like right now, I kind of totally forget where I'm supposed to go. So we are trying to go here. There you go, got a dog. Uh, Buddy actually has a hidden item somewhere. I just don't remember where. Um, 
so how do we do this without the dog screwing things up? Um, Alright, well actually we'll use Pet Pal. Let's talk to Buddy real quick. Ask the pooch. Scratch behind the ear and say, you know how it feels. Ask if Emmy's the reason that why he's so blue. <laughs> oh my gosh. Scratch behind the hooves ears and say he's not alone at, now for at least. Oh shit. <gasps> There's a key. Okay, thanks, dog. <laughs> right? Ah, uh, could we kill Buddy? I know this sounds really shitty attacking a dog, but <laughs> would anybody cry? All right, let's, let's do a quick little save real quick. If I just attack Buddy, would anybody attack me? Okay, I'm sorry, Buddy. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Buddy. But I must do my thieving ways. Ugh. I feel so bad. You were a good boy. You were a good boy. But you had to die for the greater bad. Okay, now we have to wait for her to move over here. And then that's when we do it. Okay. I gotta wait for her to sit down. That's the best time to do it. Ha ha. If we increase the sneak by one, it would be really good. Okay. Now what are we trying to steal here? Let's grab Chicken Claw, just for the CC base ability. That, because it's really good overall. 120, 120. How much can I steal? I can steal one. I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm whispering to myself like, okay, gotta do this, this. Chameleon Cloak would be a nice ability, too. Alright, we can't do any more here. Um, let's see, I could steal 70. Could I steal 70, 40? Yeah, I could. Awesome, I'll take all of it. Alright, and... Okay, so now what we need to do is walk up here. And we'll have a nice little safe area over here. So, I know this is like kind of tedious some and kind of takes a long time to show, but I also wanted to showcase like a lot of the different strategies and things of what you can do. So having a person like talk and then having a person sneak up and steal the items and all that is a great way of doing that because God knows you're not going to be able to afford every single person that asks you to pay for something. So this is a great way of doing it without having to do the extra mile and a half for it. Okay. Go here. Take your leave. Uh, wait a second for her to say like, hey, I've been robbed. Can I talk to you? And I'll just be like, yeah, go ahead. Allow search. No signs of my goods. I guess I shouldn't have accused you so hastily. Hang on. Oh, I see error. I wish you a good day. All 
All right, now we go meet up with Thane here and allocate our nice loot that we got. He's pretty much just gonna learn how to use all of it, so that's like the main thing. Um, what we're gonna be trying to do is we're gonna specifically be going for Tentacle Lash. Wait, what? I thought we had a uh, Polymorph, didn't we? But yeah, we have a point in a Polymorph. That was weird. Said that we couldn't do it for a second. Chicken claw. What's really great is once you learn these skills, they can't just steal it from you again. You pretty much are set. So, we now have all these amazing things, and now our guy is even stronger. Also, I kind of got tired of like our rotation, like we'd run out of stuff to do, so having Tentacle Lash is not bad. Also, it does a lot of damage. Like, look at that, 24 to 26, and it gives us uh, Atrophy. So... We have a route out of here, but I think there's a few more things we can do in Fort Joy uh, before we go dungeon crawling. Let's see, we have another passageway here. Uh, we actually have the arena. Yeah, we. you know what? We might do the arena. I'm not going to lie. All right, I think we're ready for the arena. Let's go dive in.